Okay, so this is unit 29 over area and circumference of circles. So uh, first one says, Gavin drew a circle as shown below. Use a ruler to measure the radius of the circle to the nearest centimeter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So while you can't measure it, I'll just tell you it is two centimeters. So we know the radius is two, so the diameter would be four. So now we have to find the circumference formula. So the circumference formula is C is equal to 2 pi r, or C is equal to, ooh, I don't know why I said that, C is equal to pi times diameter. These two are literally the same, because anytime you multiply 2 times r, it gives you d, diameter. So we're going to use this formula, because we already know what our diameter is. So you can say C is equal to pi times d, you always write the formulas down. Pi is 3.14, and your diameter is 4. So 3.14 times 4 <clears throat> is 12.56. So um, if you ever need to actually slow down the video, you can always slow the video down or just pause it to work these problems out. All right. Let's make it a little bit bigger because I know on your paper you can't see the grid. So he says he draws a circle on a sheet of grid paper. What's the circumference? Well, to know the circumference, we have to know the diameter. So we're going to find the diameter. And you count the squares, so that'd be 8. So it's your circumference formula, C is equal to pi times diameter. So you're going to say C is equal to 3.14 times 8. If I can... Hold up. Just being silly today. There we are. So 3.14 times 8 is 25.12. So his circumference would be 25.12. Okay, number three. Nisa wants to replace a glass in her antique mirror. The looking glass sells uh, mirrored glasses for 85 cents per square inch, including tax. To the nearest penny, how much will Nisa pay to have the glass replaced? Well, since we're trying to find the, we're trying to replace the entire thing, that means we're going to find area. So area is going to be pi r squared. So pi is 3.14, and my radius is going to be 9. The reason why my radius is 9 is because my diameter is 18, so half of that is 9. So 9 squared is 81. So you're going to do 3.14 times 81. Well, 3.14 times 81 is 254.34. That's, that's how much area the mirror takes up. But she wants to know how much it'll cost. Well, it costs 85 cents per square inch. So you're going to multiply this by 0.85. When you multiply by 0.85, you get 216.189, which rounds up 216. Point nineteen, So it'll cost her $216.19. Okay, Lily measures the length of the radius in her bedroom clock. She glues ribbon around the edge of the clock. What's the length of the um, length of the ribbon that Lily uses? So since you want the distance around the clock, you're going to find circumference. So you're going to use the formula C is equal to 2 pi r because 2 is 2. Pi is 3.14, and your radius is 2.5. And that's the reason why I use that formula, because you're given radius. So 2 times 2.5 is 5. So you're going to do 3.14 times 5, which comes out to 15.7. So her circumference of the ribbon is 15.7. Okay, your exit tickets. It says, um, a new cookie company is offering a special deal. Order one cookie cake at the regular price and get a second cookie cake with a diameter twice the length of the first one. Desmond orders a cookie cake with eight inch diameter. What's the area of the second cookie cake? So the diameter of my second cookie cake is going to be 16 because the first one was eight. So I got to double that. So it means my radius of my second cookie cake is eight. Well, since it wants the area, you're going to use A is equal to pi r squared. Well, pi is 3.14, r is 8 squared. So you're going to do 8 squared, 
which is 64. So you do 3.14 times 64, and you get 200.96. So you can see. Hey, a tire from Karen's car is shown below. What's the closest to the distance traveled in feet after three full rotations of the tire? Use 22 over 7 for pi. I actually would like to use 3.14 personally. Um, so I, your original number right here said 28 inches. So I changed it to 2.33 feet. So since it says rotations, that's circumference. So we're going to do C is equal to pi times the diameter. So C is 3.14 times 2.33. When you do 3.14 times 2.33, you get 7.3. Well, that's the circumference of one rotation. Well, she does it three times. So you're going to do 7.3 times 3, and you get 21.9. So that rounds up to 22. So the answer is 22. A lot of mistakes will be made, and a lot of people will just get A, but you got to pay attention that she does three full rotations. Okay? Hey right, guys, that is just a quick review of circumference and area of a circle. Thank you.